By morning, the fog had completely dissipated, bestowing upon some of us a sense of clarity. Hey, Fangs, it's Kev. Listen, sorry I didn't make it last night. But I was just calling to say that after a night of reflection and taking stock, if you and Tony want to discuss joint custody just amongst ourselves, I'd be open to that. Oh, you're open to that. I am. The world's a scary place, and there's safety in numbers, so I'd be willing to. Yes. Kevin, whatever epiphany you had last night, I had one too. I don't want to be half a dad. And I want my son to be raised with an integrity that I'm not sure that you possess. I mean, the fact that you're even waffling about Percival. That's not fair. I'll see you in court, Kevin. Until then, watch your back. Jay, bring me some butcher paper, string, and masking tape. I need to wrap something up. Oh, brother. Now what? Welcome to Riverdale Today. I am your host, Alice Cooper. Today, I have the pleasure of chatting with Riverdale's new mayor, Percival Pickens. Alice is saying that Percival is Riverdale's new mayor. Welcome, Mr. Mayor. What? How? Tabitha broke it down for me after the broadcast. Apparently, while the rest of us were waiting for the fog to lift, the Council of Four minus Tabitha met, dissolved itself, and appointed Percival mayor. How the hell did he do this? Collecting enough signatures to ratify the Council's endorsement. So Percival wants to be mayor, like Hiram. God help us all. Mayor isn't his ultimate goal. It's just a stopping stone. To what? All hail Dictator Pickens. And thank you so much for joining us and wishing Riverdale a good one. Well, so much for our coup. 